Hello everyone. My name is Rudul Agarwal and today I will be presenting our work on stochastic top k subset bandits with linear space and non-linear feedback. This is a joint work with Abhishek Umrawal, Professor Agarwal and Professor Quinn. We see k subset setups with non-linear bandit feedback in many places. For example, a bundle pricing problem where a business may choose to include k products in a bundle. For bundle pricing, the reward is often modeled as a quadratic function of individual rewards. Another example is of playlist optimization, where a streaming service may choose to create a playlist of k songs from n songs. The playlist is often a the feedback is often a single variable that whether the user likes the playlist or not. Our last example is of server selection problem where we can choose up to k machines from a farm of n machines. Here the cost is determined by the slowest server. We note that in all these examples the joint reward is a non-linear function of individual reward, individual rewards and the op the agent only observes the joint feedback. For our setup, we consider n arms with expected rewards mu i. At any time t, the agent plays an action a t comprising of exactly k arms and obtains a joint reward r t as a function of in f as a function f of individual rewards. This function can possibly be nonlinear, which may not allow us to invert the individual arm rewards. We aim to minimize the cumulative regret which is the cap from not playing the best action AT instead of action AST or instead we play action AT. So we already know that we have UCP algorithm which plays the action which maximizes the current upper confidence bounds. For this problem, for this algorithm we will have and choose k actions and the regret will be bounded as square root of and choose k times t. Not only the regret is expon exponential in number of actions or number of arms, the space complexity to store all these actions and their rewards is also exponential and at each time t, the agent needs to perform a linear search on all the actions which is again exponential order. When we have Another algorithm which works on elimination strategy, which keeps on eliminating the arms. So, by comparing the UCB of an arm and the LCB of the best arm, we take inspiration in developing our algorithm. So, can we use an elimination based strategy? We know that. Selecting k arms from a set of k plus 1 arms is same as eliminating one arm from a set of k plus 1 arms and both of them are order k. So the step 1 is to divide n arms into groups of sizes k plus 1. But what should be step 2? To this end, we propose the divide and conquer SEMA SM algorithm which works in this division described. We divide arms into groups of size k plus 1 arms. We sort the arms inside each group with a total of order n by epsilon square sample complexity. And then we keep on merging the two, two groups to construct a new group of size k arms. And this again requires order n by epsilon square sample complexity. The advantages of this algorithm is we have the storage complexity as order n, the runtime complexity is of order k log k. The storage complexity comes from by, by storing only actions compared for k plus 1 or storing only uh, rewards estimates of k plus 1 arms actions which are composed from the k plus 1 action arms. And similarly, we have to obtain the runtime complexity by comparing only k plus 1 actions at any given time. This is a significant improvement from exponential complexities of 
use the algorithm. To analyze the algorithm, we make certain assumptions. The first assumption is that the joint reward of an action increases when we increase the reward of an arm contained in that action. Further, we assume that the joint rewards are bilipsheds to have some notion of continuity in the rewards. This allows us to obtain a total sample complexity of u square n divided by epsilon square and a total regret of u cube n one thirds k one half and t two thirds when t is at least n log two and t. To empirically evaluate, we choose the problem of social influence maximization. We have we start with k individuals trying to trigger a cascade of influence in a network of n individuals, and each individual, each individual further influences its neighbor. With certain probability, the total influence of an individual depends on the number of their friends and the strengths of those friendships. We aim to find an algorithm that does not obtain individual influence propagation traces to avoid privacy violations. We test the algorithm. We test the algorithm against a sub network of Facebook with 533 nodes and 7625 edges, and then we compare with domain specific algorithms. The first algorithm is epsilon credit distribution, which performs random sampling for the first epsilon t times and then generates a propagation trace. And further, for the remaining time, it works by optimizing using the obtained influence propagation trace. Note that this algorithm requires much more knowledge than our algorithm. Another algorithm which we, with which we compare our algorithm is a simulation-based greedy algorithm. This is an offline algorithm, and it finds an it finds a one minus one by e optimal solution. We now compare the computation complexities of the of all the algorithms. The time complexity at any time is k log k for the CMAP SM algorithm, and the worst case complexity is order n to store the total influence of each each of the n possible subsets or n possible seed sets. The epsilon credit distribution algorithm has a worst case space complexity of epsilon nt which comes from the tr total trace total propagation trace for first epsilon t times further we note that the simulation based greedy algorithms add successive individuals based on their marginal expected influence and it obtains those expected influence using monte carlo simulations which is a very costly step. We now observe the, the results from the influence maximization. We observe that the CMAP SM algorithm beats domain specific algorithms without obtaining propagation traces and finds a better solution over time. It reaches at par with the greedy algorithm and performs marginally bad than the compared to the greedy algorithm, which is an offline algorithm. Further, we don't we do not use the propagation traces for our algorithm. To summarize, we consider the problem of top k subset bandits with full bandit feedback and where the joint reward is a function of which is possibly non-linear in individual rewards, and this does not allow us and this may not allow us to reward individual ARM rewards. We provide CMAP SM algorithm which works using divide and conquer strategy and we bound that regret of this algorithm using 
YouTube with YouTube K half and one third and one thirds and T two thirds. We further apply this algorithm and empirically evaluate against the problem of social influence maximization and obtain that we are able to beat domain specific algorithms with even lesser in amount of data. Thank you.